Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel, Loving Your Life with Mama D. And I'm Glenda Davis, aka Mama D. And you know what? You're in Mama D's kitchen. Now today, I'm going to show you how to make a plant-based tuna salad. I, I kid you not, it is tuna salad. It tastes just like tuna salad. It looks like tuna salad. And it is, to me, it's tuna salad. But it's made with jackfruit and chickpeas. Okay? Hey, if you're interested in that content, stick with me. And come on, let's get to it. So you start out with one can of chickpeas and make sure you drain them and put them in and just pulse them. Don't smash them, just kind of, you know, chop them up enough that they will uh, blend well. You don't want to turn them to mush. Okay, once you do that, then you want to go ahead and wash your uh, jackfruit, squeeze out all the cold water from them, and then put them in the blender, and you're going to put those on low and pulse them as well. It only just takes a few seconds. You just want them to have that meaty tuna-like texture. Once you finish that, you go ahead and mix that in with the chickpeas. Give it a good stir. And it's going to be looking like tuna already. <laughs> now you want to cut up and just chop up two stems of uh, green onions and also two stems of celery. And just chop them up really nice like you would just do in your regular tuna. Not anything different. Actually, the only thing different is going to be your a few ingredients and the fact that you're using chickpeas and jackfruit instead of actual tuna meat. And now for the star ingredient, the nori komi furikake. And you want to put a lot in because this is what makes it taste like fish. And once you stir that in, you're going to go ahead with your other ingredients. Uh, you're going to add some relish. Uh, that was probably about a fourth of a cup. You can add, you know, whatever you desire, uh, about a half a cup of mayo. And then I also added celery seed. Black pepper. And make sure you get in all of your plant-based mayo because it's, you know, it is relatively expensive to me. All mayo has gotten to be really, really expensive. Now you want to go ahead and stir that up. Make sure you get your uh, garlic powder in and some salt. Stir it up and then you just want to give it a taste. And then you add ingredients according to your liking. Now you're going to add your black salt powder, which will make it taste like there's eggs in it. And this is another star ingredient. I felt it needed just a little bit more mayo just to make it nice and uh, creamy. So you just do it according to how you want it to taste and look and feel, just like your regular tuna. You see how it's come together? It, it looks so delicious. I just want to dive in and just eat it right now. I'm adding a little Himalayan salt just to bring out the flavor. And now it's actually ready. It's time to serve it up and enjoy. And there you have it. Can y'all see that? <laughs> it, listen, let's go ahead and taste some. It looks exactly like tuna. See? Can y'all see that? Oh my goodness. <laughs> mm. yeah. It has so many nutritional values 
and it actually is good to lower blood sugar because jackfruit, let's look up, look up all the many benefits of jackfruit and the chickpeas and then you'll be ready to make you some, okay? Okay, thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the content. If you did, don't forget to go ahead and subscribe. It doesn't cost a dime. <laughs> like it and send me a comment and share it with somebody, okay? All right, until the next video, don't forget, it's your life. You love it and make the best of it, okay? Love you guys. Have a great day. Bye-bye.